welcome back to my channel. My name is Bethany. If you're new here, I do motherhood and lifestyle videos here on my channel, so welcome if you're new. I also do day in the life vlogs, sit down videos like this, cleaning videos, and so much more. So please consider subscribing if that's the type of content that you're interested in. So as we all know, Easter is coming up. It's right around the corner and I put together a few things for my kids this year. Now this is gonna be my son's first Easter basket as we didn't do one last year for my son as he was, I think he was only around three to four months old. So he really didn't need one, um, but I am doing one for him this year. As same with my daughter who is almost four. So I'm really excited to show you guys everything that is in their Easter basket this year for 2020. I know it may be a little bit different as we are just sticking at home this year. So I really wanted to make it a little bit extra special and do a few extra little things to just kind of bring in the Easter spirit for this year. So I actually got everything from Dollarama, which is a dollar store here in Canada. And I'm really, really excited to share everything that I got in their baskets with you today. All right, so starting off with my daughter, Brielle, this is her basket for this year. I think it turned out really good. Um, like I said, everything's from the dollar store, including this little basket, which is great because I can reuse it for other things later. So <laughs> I am really pleased with how it turned out this year. So starting off with these little bunny bags, I actually made these. So I guess that's the one thing that's not from the store. But basically, it's just a little tiny bag that I sewed together with some leftover um, cotton natural fabric here at my house and then drew a little bunny face on here and just tied the little ends together. It actually has little chocolate eggs inside. So it's really cute and really adorable and it can hold all of the chocolate that I'm gonna be giving her this year, which is not a lot. It's just um, a few things in there. So I have one for Brielle and I have one for Kellen as well, which I'll be showing you in a second. So I did film a little tutorial for you guys. If you're wanting to make one of your own, it's super simple and super easy if you have a sewing machine around your house or you can even hand stitch this if you want. And I really loved how they turned out. So the fabric that I'm using today is an organic cotton natural fabric. It's a little bit thicker, which is great for making little bags out of. And so I actually made my own pattern that I just drew up and then I started to cut it out. I pinned the pattern to the fabric so I didn't move around and just folded the fabric in half to cut two sides at once. Once I cut it out, I pin the two sides together so it doesn't slip around when I'm going to sew it. And of course I made two because one is for Brielle and one is for Kellen. So once I finished that, then I started to sew both sides together. I wanted to make sure that I got decently close to the edge because I wanted to leave as much room inside the bag to fit as many little treats as I could. So it only took me maybe about I'd say less than 10 minutes to finish sewing this. Then I just went ahead and turned it right side out, including the little ears. And then I started to draw a little face on it with little eyes, nose, and whiskers to make it look like a little bunny. Once I was finished that, then I went ahead and filled it up with their little goodies. I tied the top of the ears together with some ribbon or you can use any type of string you want and there you have it a little bunny bag to fit all of your little goodies so moving on i have this little bell doll for brielle um it was so cute it's like a little beanie baby kind of and brielle is obsessed with princesses if you don't know already so i thought i'd get her like this little tiny bell and i know she's gonna love it Next, I just got her some bubbles. These are pink, which is obviously her favorite color. <laughs> um, and so she's gonna have a lot of fun with these. These are gonna be her own bubbles that she gets to use. So I'm excited to give her these. Next, I got her a little thing of stickers. These are little puffy stickers. They have little bunnies and eggs on them. And I thought it was really cute. Next is this little um, egg coloring set. It's really cute. It has some glitter in there and some markers and she can kind of make her own little eggs and color in the little flowers and designs on there. And next I got her two eggs. I got her one that's full of Skittles cause she does love Skittles. And then I got her a Kinder Surprise and she is obsessed with them. So I know that she's gonna love these two as well. And next I got this little um, double walled tumbler for her. This was actually at the dollar store. I think it was $4. But yeah, it's sealed and it does come with a straw, so which is great, um, or she can drink out the top, but it says, I am magical with a unicorn on it and she's going to love this. So I thought that was a really cute um, idea for her this year. And lastly, I just got her a pair of bunny ears. I know these are gonna be really fun and she's gonna wanna wear these around the house, especially on Easter. 
So I think these are really adorable, really simple, and uh, I think it was a dollar for these. So moving on to Kellen's basket here, um, his is a little bit more simpler as he's only one, and so I didn't really get him too many things. Um, but the first thing I did get was this little bunny rabbit. I thought it was so cute and he loves animals right now and I know he's gonna really love this one. I also made him a little um, bunny bag as well. This doesn't have chocolate in it, but it does have some glow sticks in it because I know Kellen loves glow sticks and we actually put them in the bathtub sometimes, which is really fun for the kids. So this is filled with little glow sticks for him. Next, I got him a Kinder Surprise. I know this is a little bit advanced for him, but I know he can have a little bit of chocolate. So that's what we're gonna do and we'll put together the little toy for him. Him and make sure that he's not putting it in his mouth or anything um, but I just wanted to get him a little egg too. Next I got Kellen a little Hot Wheels car. He really loves cars and this is from the dollar store too so um, this was a dollar for this and he loves to play with them and he just like holds on to them all day so I thought that was a really cute little thing to get him. And next I just got these little chalk eggs. Super duper cute. I cannot wait for Kellen to use these. These are a lot easier for him to kind of use in the driveway because they're a little bit bigger. So this will be really, really fun for him. And then lastly, I got Kellen a pair of blue bunny ears. I think it's gonna look so adorable trying to put these on him. He's probably just gonna swat them off, but I think these are so, so cute. And again, just a dollar for these. So obviously we're not going anywhere for Easter this year or doing anything crazy, but I did want to do an Easter egg hunt for my kids. So I did buy a bunch of eggs and a bunch of chocolate eggs or little candies that I can put in there. And we are going to put them all over the yard and get the kids to look for them, which I'm super excited about. And so I actually got them these little um, wooden or wicker baskets to look for eggs outside with. Um, I have a little one for Kellen and a bigger one for Brielle and I think it's gonna be so adorable seeing them walk around and run around the yard looking for eggs. I might have gone a little overboard with the eggs but I got a few of them, um, some little littler ones for Kellen um, and these are just gonna be so much fun to just fill up and put all over the yard. Um, I'm really excited about it as it, I think it's my first year doing a Easter egg hunt at our house. So I'm really, really excited about it and I cannot wait to um, do this with them. One thing that I did get for Brielle this week is I got a craft kit that is make your own eggs. So it has a bunch of foamies in here. There's a little bit of glitter and she can kind of decorate her own eggs. And I actually have some like magnet strip um, where you can cut it and stick it onto something. So we might make little egg magnets. I think that'd be kind of fun. Um, but yeah, just a fun little craft for um, this week as we kind of uh, count down to Easter. So that kind of wraps up today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. I hope you found some inspiration to create your own kids' Easter baskets and some things that are age appropriate for them and something that they're really gonna love and be really excited about. So thank you guys so much for watching today's video and yeah, we'll see you in my next one.